from Carson, um, Fred Dr. Seal. I don't know if, I think you're part of the city council there or something. Please correct me. Commissioner. Com Commissioner. 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 Commissioner Fred, please come up and share your, your, your dad's uh, veteran story. Mabuhay, everybody. Uh, my name is Fred Doc Dossel. I'm a planning commissioner for the city of Carson. I uh, wear a lot of hats, literally and figuratively. Um, most of them, most of the hats that I wear have to do with the Filipino and the Filipino American community. Literally from my profession, my passion. I work for boy Credit Union. I run a handful of nonprofits uh, dealing with the, uh, the Filipino American community. And uh, it's actually my grandfather uh, as a veteran. Uh, Jose Doc Dossel Sr. Um, it's a little bittersweet actually celebrating this today because I I went to school in Irvine, UC Irvine, part of Kaba, Zat Zat Zat. And at the turn of the century, it sounds so long ago, but at the turn of the century, we would celebrate Veterans Day with the annual Veterans Day March here in historic Filipino town. And uh, when I started attending them, there were certainly a lot more veterans that were in attendance and we obviously are very honored uh, with your presence uh, but it is it's bittersweet that a lot of our veteranos have unfortunately passed away without seeing these benefits uh, that were mentioned uh, but for me on a personal level as i mentioned i am the descendant of jose doc dossel senior my son, Jedrick, is here today too. Uh, I represent the 13 children, the 25 grandchildren, and 13 great-grandchildren of this veteran. He was born in Iloilo uh, in uh, 1917. Uh, he signed up with the Philippine Army in 1939. And in 1941, they were conscripted into the United States Armed Forces of the Far East, USAFIT, right? And uh, he was stationed in Balingasag, in, in Misamis Oriental, which is in northern Mindanao, where he met my grandmother. So he, you know, as a lieutenant, he was one of the leaders uh, that, that essentially led the resistance against uh, Imperial Japan uh, during the war. And, uh, you know, that, that kind of started both his military career, but also his personal career. Uh, with you know in terms of building the family right and uh, in 2000 and uh, actually I'm sorry in, in 1983 he was able to move here to the States and he got the rest of the family over uh, and he spent the last 20 years of his life uh, living in Houston Texas uh, he actually served as the finance officer for the Filipino American veterans of World War II uh, in Houston uh, and uh, you know it's with great pride that I was able to work with one of my organizations, Filipino Young Leaders Program, and PhilVet reps uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we were able to get my grandfather recognized. We finally call him Lolo Doc. Jose Doc Dasso, right? Lolo Doc. Uh, but yeah, so he was, uh, we were able to get him recognized with a congressional gold medal, um, which, if all else was the same, every single veteran that fought during the war should have earned that in a lot of instances with their own lives right with with uh, the honor the recognition of the congressional gold medal but the fact of the matter is um, unfortunately a very uh, small percentage uh, have had that recognition uh, and uh, what I recall from you know all those years of marching down the streets of historic Filipino town uh, we always used to chant don't say no no to my Lolo right and justice delayed is justice denied um so you know it, it's again it, it's bittersweet celebrating veterans day today uh because you know we see uh some of our community members here uh we recognize the the service the bravery the heroism uh that these veterans did uh you know during the, their time of service but at the same time too we we acknowledge the fact that these men their their legacy lives on. And every single one of us that are here today, the stories that that they wrote and the stories that are yet to be written 
from those of us that are here within the community. Um, so that's my challenge is to fulfill that legacy that they started, you know, all those years ago when they selflessly fought during the war. It's on to us to live up to that challenge and fulfill that legacy by being the best representation of the Filipino community of our own individual families that we, that we can be. Again, my name is Fred Doc Dossel. Salamat and mabuhay. Thank you, Fred. Next, I'd like to call uh, Stephanie Sahor to come up and 